Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today we're gonna be making an area where, where, like, this is, okay, I don't really know what to describe this, but this is just like an area where things spawn in, so yeah, so let's make our area, it's gonna be really big, uh, let's make it so it doesn't cast shadow, and it sets transparency to 0 0.8, so you still kinda get an idea where the area is, but you can still see where, where it's spawning. So, let's add a, let's add a script, and this is actually how particles work, if you didn't know. Anyways, so, let's make it, like, wow, true do, local x, e equals script.parent.x, dot, position, or no, not position, size dot x. Local y equals script dot parent dot size dot y, and local z equals script dot parent dot size dot z. So these will get its x y z coordinates without them being all in one value. So yeah. So local part equals instance dot new part. Anyway, I don't know what that was. Anyways, part dot position equals vector three dot new. Math not random zero minus x zero minus x to x then we do zero minus y dot y math not random zero minus z dot z So this will be the position of the part, it will be a vector 3 value, it will be random x, so 0 minus it to it, and um, yeah. And also we probably want this to be times 0 0.5, because this isn't the finished code yet. Script.parent.position plus that. So it's gonna be starting there, and its edges will be the edges of that. Let's run it. See, now they only spawn inside the part. Wait. Oh, we left collision on. One second. Let's turn collision off. And there we go. Of course, you can do the same thing with clones or anything you want. And you can change this weight value and stuff. And just to prove it's not just spawning it in a set area, you can stretch it. You can even change it while it's running. And it's only ever going to spawn things inside of itself. I'll break down the code here real quick. So, XYZ will be the size of the part times 0 0.5 the different sizes, the x size, the y size, and z size then it's only gonna spawn parts in that size range but the size range, its zero position will be of the part so position so be that position plus math.random 0 minus a value makes that value negative um, so its range will be math.random 0 minus that or that so it can be a range within that value then we do that for every one of those and then it's a forever loop waiting 0 0.1 we could also just make it wait 0 to make it spawn a ton of them which that's always cool or funny or even shrink it down that's going to be a mess so yeah you can do this with any type of part you want um, for instance well I don't know anyways I hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe and have a wonderful day